Achtung, before we start, a little warning. This video might lead to several side effects, which may include but not limited to having a strong desire to invade Poland, Russia or any other country, a severe increase in your walking speed of up to 57.7% and a tendency to use at least one digit behind a comma for every number because everything else is imprecise and clearly not complicated enough. If you notice any of these changes, please seek the advice of a doctor or a lawyer, depending on your current circumstances and the location of your armies. Anyway, let's start with Wehrmacht, which literally translated means defense force, because it's actually a composite word of Wehr and Macht, which is an important aspect of the German language. You can stick nouns together and create new words out of it. Now the Wehrmacht consists of three branches, the Heer, which was the army, the Luftwaffe, which was the Air Force, although literally translated means air weapon, and the Kriegsmarine, the Navy, or literally translated War Navy. Now Kriegsmarine is a tricky word. In German we pronounce the E like it is pronounced in the English word ten. Yet in the word Krieg, the combination of I and E makes the E silent. And we pronounce the I like the English E. So in order to pronounce Kriegsmarine correctly, Make sure that you pronounce the E at the end, like the E in 10. Next up is an all-time favorite, Panzerkampfwagen, which literally means armor fight vehicle. Of course, armored fighting vehicle sounds a bit better and makes more sense. Panzerkampfwagen is basically an early version of the regular word Panzer right now, which is tank or armor. A little hint here, the easiest approach to pronounce German words is to apply the divide and conquer principle. Because once you realize that those big words are just small ones stuck together, you can train them individually. So time for some more complicated words. First, Bombenzielgerät, which is bomb site. And literally translated it means bomb aim device. Next, Panzerjäger is just tank hunter, in meaning and literally. Also one of the best sounding words in my opinion. Now since the Germans like to hunt, some more Jägers. The Fallschirmjäger is a paratrooper, but literally it means parachute hunter. And of course the Gebirgsjäger, which is the mountain infantryman, or literally mountain hunter. Now the German word for hunt is Jagd, thus the Jagdpanther is basically a tank hunter variant of the Panther. Yeah, quite uncomplicated in this case. Now something smaller, namely leichtes Maschinengewehr, which means light machine gun. But there's an important caveat here. A lot of people tell me in the comments that the MG-34 and MG-42 were not light machine guns. But the thing is, the Germans called them that way. And they also called their tripod version a heavy machine gun, and schweres Maschinengewehr, because they named them according to their function, not according to their caliber. This is similar, by the way, with tanks, because the Panther would be a heavy tank in nearly every other country. In Germany, it was declared medium tank. Oh by the way, the short version of machine gun, MG, is pronounced MG in German. Now MG is usually handled by a gunner or a rifleman, which in German is Schütze. The problem with the U is that as far as I know there is no English sounding equivalent, so I can't help you out here. Ideally your Schützen company brings along a Granatwerfer, which is a mortar, or if you go full literal, grenade thrower, because Werfer means thrower although usually the word launcher makes more sense, but Werfer just sounds way better. Now one of Justin's favorite is Flugzeugträger, which literally means aircraft carrier, which seems quite correct, but similar to English the word Flugzeug is actually a composite word, where Flug means flight and Zeug means thing, so the word Flugzeug actually means flight thing. Now let's move on to some shortcuts. One that is very common but I think rather unknown in English is HKL. This actually appears in the movie Stalingrad from 1993 in one of the final scenes when the NCO asks the officers, wo ist die HKL? Which means, wo ist die Hauptkampflinie? Or in English, where is the main combat line? Although usually it is translated with main line of resistance, but Kampf means combat or fight, not resistance. You might also call it the front line, but that is clearly not complicated enough. Anyway, next are OKH and OKW, where the OK stands for Oberkommando, 
which means high command. And OKH means Oberkommando des Heeres, das Army High Command. And OKW, Oberkommando der Wehrmacht, das High Command of the Armed Forces. Quite many of you probably came across SDKFZ, which is the short version of Sonderkraftfahrzeug, which means Special Purpose Vehicle. Or if you go full literal, Special Power Drive Thing. Whereas Kraftfahrzeug is a technical term for a car or car-like vehicles, the current legal definition in Germany is that the Kraftfahrzeug is a vehicle that is moved by an engine and not bound to rails. Next up are the old-time favorites Puck and Flak. The first means Panzerabwehrkanone, literally tank defense cannon, so it's an anti-tank gun, and Flak means Flugabwehrkanone, which means literally flight defense cannon, so it's an anti-aircraft gun. Now if you look at tanks, you probably came along the shortcut KWK, which stands for Kampfwagenkanone, which means literally combat vehicle cannon. And last but not least, the Sturk, which is a shortcut for Sturmgeschütz, which means assault gun. Now sticking to the Sturk, and due to popular request, the Stuck Live t-shirt is available as spoil of war in the merchandise shop now. Additionally, I also added the first official military history visualized t-shirt. Or if t-shirts are not your cup of tea, there are also mugs and other stuff. Thank you for watching. Be sure to follow me on Twitter and Ricebook. As always, sources and references are in the description. If you liked this video, you might want to take a look at my other Shits and Giggles Doctrine videos, like the Unclassics in Military History or the Baguette Werfer 40. Enjoy and see you next time.